All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some more Deus Sex Human Revolution. Uh, the first video passed the sensor test on YouTube, so that means I can play the game to its fullest extent. I'm so happy about that because uh, playing this game without the music would be a terrible, terrible travesty of which, uh, you know, that's what makes this game, you know, pop. <laughs> it's like the damn music that's in it. And without that, you know, it's like, it's like this game has no soul. Maybe a little bit, but that is not like the whole soul. So, let's see. Alright. Did that. And I think if uh, I remember correctly, the last time I left off, which was maybe about two, two hours ago, was that I was in uh, this. Okay. All right. Okay. Motherfuckers! For you. Ha ha ha. That's a little late. Are the guys taking cover? I want to move down the steps. Oh shit! I caught him! He said, show yourself! Man, I shot him in the head. He said, he can't move it and he fell. Wow, I thought he was still alive, but he just kept moving and he died. He was like, Headshot! He's like, oh! Caught it. He caught him. He moved a little bit. He fell. Nice. And we rearm. Where are the other guys? Oh. Oh. Lean on your gun. You don't want me to have it. Alright, come on in. Check your corners. What the deuce? Ah, yeah. No, you're not officially a cop until you get your shades, right? Building. Just entered the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. Yeah. A 
I'm breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. Yeah, I'll take the stairs. Why is David keeping the SWAT team? Final Fantasy, C10, 20, 25, 27. Lady Shintaro. Actually, that's on the bikes. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might be. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data, too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? You set up is waiting for me at the Alabama. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. Maybe this time you actually save people. Son of a bitch. If you get a problem with me, Preacher, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Preacher blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be a first. I'm the one who told Sarek we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in house. And so did Dr. Reed. So you just hired one person. But you. But you, for you, I'm going to ignore that comment. We're done here. Yeah, I'll get back to them, yeah. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Don't I know it. I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. You? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? I don't know to find out. I'm going to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. You all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I guess I should talk during these quiet moments. I told Farina to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. 
fine. As long as she pulls you up a minute, I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the country. You buy that? Now, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard. Who's on point for these guys? Adam, I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him there. He's an augmented Adam. So he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right. So how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? No, I won't. I'm not about to take any chances. Lethal it is. But remember, they do have hostages, and I hate to see any of our people get caught in the crossfire. You remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways, but the labs themselves are pretty open, high ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance or up close? Give me something with distance. I'm a sniper first, yeah. Close. I'll take them up personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. The Typhoon should be in the factory labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got them running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gentlemen, prepare for landing. Did I get my coat? No. No coat. Alright, let's find the situation. I guess. Okay. All right. All right. Close the door. Close the door. Close the door. All right. Now let's scavenge a little bit. This is what we can find. Oh, piece of candy. And you may actually ask yourself, why, why am I doing this? It's because sometimes the game hides stuff, like credit chip, like, you know, money, or energy bars, snack bars, that are really, really helpful. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. Yes. Yeah. Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen, yeah, I thought I recognized you. you. Used to be on team two till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. Ooh. All right, give me a situation. Terrence. You tell them these purists how much you got, how much you want. How many? How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen inside. But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your IntelliCams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, it could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. 
about the leader. The leader's name is Sanders, right? What's his story? Zig Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycled military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his odds made him do evil shit, so he ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or kill. Alright. Any demands? Can you get any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? Alright. I think I've heard enough. You sure? You wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. Kind of being a dick. See. Type of hostage. We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Makes sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You know more about that than I would. Anything else? Let's see. What's your plan? You look pretty dug in up here. What's the React team plan? We got Alpha's point and Bravo is Wayne both standing by to reach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers, the sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hold this powder can down and call it a day. All right. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. Can I get some of your gear? Like, uh, your suit? What was this? Painkillers! You know who is coming to mind. Alright. And we are 20 minutes into the video, so I have to stop it here. But don't worry, I will be back. This is our strength saying, see you when I see you. Peace out.